Okay you guys, so a man actually built a fully functional hover bike and it looks like the most exciting and fun thing ever. Colin Furs is the name of the brilliant man behind this invention. The only problem was that Colin was so excited and focused on the fact that this thing can actually hover above the ground that he kind of forgot to install the brakes. Uh oh. But that kind of makes it more fun because you don't need to worry about all the stupid safety features. No, no, you guys aren't buying it? Okay. The video of this thing in action is mind blowing. It's just so, so cool. I definitely need to get myself one of these things. Here's a quick clip so you guys can see how crazy awesome this bike actually is. That's amazing, right? Believe it or not, this was actually not Colin's first invention. Apparently a few years back he created a fart machine. Yeah, in my opinion, the bike is definitely cooler. Hello all you beautiful people, thank you for tuning in today. So happy you're here with us, I'm Court McGinley. To our new viewers, welcome. To our regular viewers, welcome back. Before we get into the news, yesterday I asked you guys who is your favorite singer and this is what all of you lovely people had to say. Today I want to know what is the coolest thing you ever made? Maybe it was a go-kart, a volcano for a science class, or maybe some really delicious cookies. Whatever it may be, let me know down in the comments. First, of course Donald Trump made headlines yet again. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump gave a speech on foreign policy last week basically outlining his vision for America's role in the world. In this speech Donald said, my foreign policy will always put the interest of the American people and American security above all else. It has to be first has to be. That will be the foundation of every single decision that I will make. So basically this left people pretty freaked out. So what's so wrong with this speech? Well first off America always has to put itself first when it comes to foreign policy. Like most nations, the US is driven by its own self interest when it comes to international relations. However most nations, they don't have 800 military bases across the globe, a permanent seat on the UN Secretary Council, nuclear weapons, and the most powerful military in the history of the the world. He also said that as a nation we need to be more unpredictable and said that President Obama was too friendly with America's traditional enemies. Basically people feel that he has a very vague understanding of the complexities of foreign affairs and that his knowledge of the world is deeply lacking. Next, apparently there has been some drama involving the new hit movie that's going to be hitting box offices on May 6th and that movie would be Captain America Civil War. Word around the Avengers team is that Thor isn't too happy and he's not someone you want to piss off. In the newest Marvel movie, Movie, we're missing two favorites, the Hulk and Thor. In a recent Facebook post by Civil War directors, Chris gets a little annoyed about his character being left out of the most recent Captain America film. In this video, Chris says he keeps getting asked if he's Team Captain America or Team Iron Man. He goes on to say, Who cares? Hulk and I were off the invite list. They just left the two strongest, biggest Avengers out of this one. Then he says, Maybe I'm not worthy. Probably because I haven't picked up the hammer in a while. It seemed like through this little video, he was annoyed, but he was also kind of throwing in little jokes at the same time. He then made a reference to Hulk and Thor hanging out with each other, minus the other Avengers in the upcoming Thor film. It's going to be called Ragnarok and it's coming out next year. I want to know, are you team Captain America or are you team Iron Man? Let me know down in the comments. Personally, I think I'm going to go with team Iron Man. Speaking of new movies, the new Angry Bird movie that hits theaters May 20th is actually encouraging kids to be on their phones during the movie. As part of the build up for this film's new release, these birds are getting a brand new game called Angry Birds Action. Players are encouraged to unlock extra levels and content of the game by scanning codes on merchandise and even in the movie itself. But before some of you get annoyed that kids will be on their phones during the entire movie, it turns out that the phones will only be needed once the closing credits start rolling. The code will be an invisible digital wet mark embedded in the movie, which will unlock a new area of the game. In an unaired clip from the movie. I thought Angry Words was kind of dying out in popularity, you know. But they must have hired the best marketing team out there, creating a new game where you have to buy merch and see the movie in theaters in order to move up in levels. That is genius. For all of you video game lovers, it looks like the Xbox is getting a new hardware upgrade. And this will be announced at E3 in June. Rumors have been flying around for a while now, but it's now finally looking like this is going to happen. Along with the hardware update, it looks like they will be revamping controllers as well. Eurogamer picked up on an apparent Chinese production leak, which appeared to reveal details of the Xbox One second generation machine, which entered production back in February. Maybe we'll be seeing the new Xbox sooner than we thought. Next, Chipotle is giving away free burritos. This is the way of thanking customers after sticking with them after the E. coli outbreak. So they're starting a reward 
rewards program for all their loyal customers. After the outbreak, the company recently revealed that they lost over $26 million. So the company is now coming out with a burrito card where you can rack up points and after purchasing a certain number of burritos, you'll get the next one for free. Honestly, they should just make their guac free and then I'm sure all their burrito loving customers would come back. Finally, by now I'm sure you all know that on Saturday night Beyonce released an online album called Lemonade. And some of the lyrics involving her relationship, well it's basically saying that Jay Z is a cheater. One of the lyrics is Becky with the good hair. Apparently Ja Rule is claiming he knows who this woman is. First everyone speculated it was Rachel Roy. Then people started to think it was Rita Ora. Ja Rule and Jay Z worked together back in the day quite a lot and he's claiming that he has some insider info with a recent tweet where he says, man I got the 401 on who Becky with the good hair is. Some people think that he actually does know about Jay Z being a cheater, and others think he's just trying to get attention. Well, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment for more amazing stories from around the globe. I have more stories for you guys right over here. Feel free to check them out. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram if you'd like, and you can check out my personal YouTube channel, Court McGinley Vlogs, if you would like to subscribe and check out my videos. I'd really appreciate it. Bye, guys.